Oh, dude! I know this thing. But this is like a settlement-y thing. This is where they have, um, Boston Pops. Charles View Amphitheater. Which really isn't what it is, but still. I don't actually remember what it's called. So this is where, like, a religious... Oh, Brother James. Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. I have some more questions first. Of course you do, and I'm here to answer them. Shoot. This is super creepy. I get the feeling I get to shoot this guy shortly. What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything, except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibilities. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to maybe you've seen maybe you've won uh -huh. anything else you're wondering about before we get started. No more questions. I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. And I hope you're ready to take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Wait, help defend Ten Pines Bluff. Oh man. Alright, whatever. Yes, I am. Alright then. Fantastic. You won't regret it, I promise you. We haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Right this way, neighbor. Dog found something. What'd you find, boy? I hope you decide to become members. one of the pillars of the community. I have... Don't be shy. Just follow me. <laughs> Dog found a dirty tan suit. Alright, we're following this guy here. Okay, I got it. Don't worry. I don't fight. They kill you if you leave. I mean, yeah, duh, which is why I kill them back. To welcome a new member in Behind closed doors. Let's uh let's close this. Sounds good. Coffee cup, coffee. Alright. Don't be shy. Just follow me. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? You're still stuck in old thinking. You're still clinging to your old life. But that's what you came here to give up. And the first step is to shed yourself of your material possessions. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? I'm weighing my ability to beat the shit out of them with my hands. I'm also not entirely sure how Thomas is going to to carry 2.5 thousand pounds of junk. All right. Fine. 
Here's everything I've got. You won't regret it. <laughs> so here's level one. Repeat this mantra to yourself until you truly believe it. I deserve a better life. A better life is coming. A better life is almost here. Once you truly believe that in your innermost self, you'll be ready for level two. That's when things will really start to happen for you. How will I know when I'm ready for level two? Oh, you'll know. Good things will start to happen. You'll see. You just have to keep working on level one until they do. Hey. What is it, neighbor? I just wanted to thank you. Becoming a pillar has changed my life. Oh, uh, thanks. Just keep working on level one and see if good things don't start to happen. I deserve a better life. Am I right? Hi. What is it, neighbor? How will I know when I'm ready for level two? Oh, you'll know. I guess I walk out of here. Maybe? The hell do I do? Maybe I have to go in here? I'm really curious the hell I'm supposed to do here. All right, fine, let's go back and threaten him. Seeing as nothing else is working. I mean, he's still in there, just being creepy. Missionary, yep. Come on, dog. 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 Dog, dog. Dog, are you serious? Get in here, get fuck, God, hey. God damn it. Head over there. You are comically useful, useless sometimes. All right. <clears throat> what is it, neighbor? I need my stuff back. Or else. There wasn't really a money back guarantee on offer. Sorry. What is it, neighbor? I need my stuff. There wasn't really. You know, I'm really curious. Oh, you know what? It's just waiting until all of my shit goes away. All right, fine. <laughs> I quick saved right before we went into that. Don't be shy. Just follow me. All right. So I can I can quick travel back to this, right? Yeah, that's easy enough. Let's go back. Let's go back to sanctuary for a little while. <laughs> I think it wasn't going to I don't think it was going to do anything until I had um until it had finished clearing my inventory. But since I literally have thousands of items, give or take, um it it wasn't processing it as it was still just removing stuff along the way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna put I'm going to clear my inventory, obviously, because I'm carrying way too much junk. Then I'm going to put all of it in that desk, because the desk is not an owned item. Then, I'm going to trigger it again, see what happens, and if nothing nothing interesting happens, we kill him, we go in there and see what happens. It was a scam, nothing more. Probably. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. You must think I'm an idiot. Well, you came in here, didn't you? Now, you've got two choices. Give me everything you've got, or we take it anyway. 
I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. That's what you want. He's a threat to the community. He's a threat to the community. <laughs> 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 Leave you alone? Are you serious here? Do you know me? Leave you alone? Are you dumb? I'm gonna cut your legs off. Is he still alive? Nope, he is not alive. Alright, come here, you... Oh, there's a woman. I'm dead. Damn it, I should have probably held... Uh, I probably should have healed before starting that. Alright. <laughs> Let's do that again. First step is simple. You have All right, first and foremost, we stand so back up. Give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. You must think I'm an idiot. Well, you came in here, didn't you? Now. Uh-huh. I'm walking. That's not how this. He's a threat. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's a special on this one? I don't know. Oh shit! He took more than a couple of hits on that one. All right, that's fair. Your head is mine. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Oh shit! I just necked him. Okay. You're having a bad day, I bet. Oh, yeah. All right. We're back in business, boys. Come here. You son of a bitch. You're dying today, you freaky. He has the same face as the other one. They might be siblings. I don't know. Either way, they're all dead. <laughs> Who the deuce are you and where are you? I'm a coming for you, lady. And I don't take no for an answer. Your head is mine. Your head is mine. Alright. Before she even falls. Oh, wow. Alright, that's perfect. <laughs> I hate cults. Well. Oh, this shit is mine. I'm surprised there weren't any, like, hopeful initiates here. Guess not. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go in here. Let's loot this guy. He had... Honestly, for people that took everything everybody owns, it really isn't that much. Hey, I'm not losing karma. I hated karma. Karma is the stupidest. Let's take the coffee cup. Fuck the coffee cup. Is this it, really? I mean, there's there's stuff in here. Cigarettes. Other stuff. Rad X. Really? I murdered these guys for some drugs? Alright. When did my radiation go away? I don't think I took any... Uh, did I? No, I didn't use any rat away. Must have been in the lab. Don't know how that happened. Alright, well, whatever. Can I scrap this place? Mm, yes. I think I can actually eventually turn this into a homestead that I use. Could be wrong, but I think so. It's got the same icon as most of them. I gotta find a uh, crafting thing first, though. At tits. Didn't want to do that. <sighs> I like being able to sit down, but it's a little bit silly. Can you break boxes? Don't think so. Nope. Yeah, there's also blocking. I don't really bother with blocking in, the, in this game. I also don't bother with melee, so that's part of it. Look at all those gold watches we managed to get. This this was worthwhile. Dog found me a pillow. Andy, are you serious? They had a mini nuke in here. Wow, that's disconcerting. 
And once again, the Waterbot uh, strikes with absolute certainty and murders everyone. In favor of loot. Wow, they even got baby bottles. What assholes? Either that or drugs, I'm not entirely sure. Well, one way or another. That was, uh, that was, that was very effective. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's keep going. They had a nuke, though. See, is Fallout 4 really worth getting if your computer isn't up to specs? I don't know. It runs on the Havoc engine, so... Oh, I got deratted by the decontamination chamber. Oh. Huh, I wonder if I can come back and use it multiple times. We should move north, range out, and hunt. Well, I found some super mutants. Didn't mean to, but I found some super mutants. There's one probably on the roof there. Luckily, they can't really hide around corners. There are a bunch of them, though. That, there are a lot of them. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Super Mutant's kind of durable, though. All right. <laughs> Let's see. This is easier. Uh, why is everything on fire up there? I ain't gonna question it. I'm just going to accept it and continue shooting these guys. Come on, pop your head out again. There we go. There's a one down. Ah, crap. I'm missing. The, uh, the line of sight there was kind of garbage. All right. Ah, shit. We got another one. We got anybody else surrounding me? Nope, we don't. Okay. Uh, performance is crawling to kind of ass levels. Might be a good idea. Yep, it's a good idea for me to sprint and run. See you guys later. I'll come back in a bit with uh, slightly more health. And maybe one of my better guns equipped. I do love the fact that I'm using a gun, effectively a hodgepodge gun here as my primary armament. That feels good. Now let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's sleep in the good bed. Fuck it, we, we liberated this place. This is my right. Okay, well, we back we go. And let's uh, quick save again, because that, that hurt. A surprisingly large amount. Okay, this is sort of the wrong way, sort of not. Oh, good. Dog meat is with us. I was worried about that bit. Alright. The deuce was it? Was it over here? Oh, hey, we're in Boston Common. I've already lost where. No. No, I said no! I clicked on no! You guys saw it. My cursor was on no and it's like, yes! Fine. It's hardly a setback, but it's still dumb. Alright. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think I found a landmine and one dead raider. Whoopsie! Okay, so it was. Oh, it's up there. We went this way. I know these things. I see people biking down them, which feels crazy to me, honestly. Okay. It's a quick save, and it was down this direction, if I recall. And like on the left-ish? We're damn close, that's all I know. So what is this? vault Region Regional Headquarters. Oh, that's this is literally it. Where are these ogres? Not ogres, super mutants. Well, didn't mean to do that. 
I might or might not find them. I might have found them. I heard them. That's for certain. They might be on the other side of this thing. Ah, I don't want to carry these guys around. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's a bloat fly. Weird. Alright. Don't go through the water. Who knows what you're going to deal with. Massachusetts State House. Oh, is the State House covered in... Wow, the State House is tiny in this game. Man, I've been here. Oh, God. That was a lot of rads. And I fell right in it. Let me guess. They're on the other side of this building. I want... One too far. Yep. I recognize this spot. Oh, nice! I snuck attack him. I don't see any more super mutants. We found our destination, though. I think there's more than just that one, though. Either that or they spread out and got lost. One way or another, that guy had some good stuff. What the fuck is... Oh, no. Oh, I know what that is. That's not a malformed Yao guy. That's a real one. Alright, well, I've quick saved lately. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, that was fast. Turns out, yeah, guys are significantly less uh, dangerous than I thought they were going to be. Okay. Well, let's quick save. Am I going to storm the castle before I end the night? Oh, I have no idea. I don't think I'm going to make it to the castle tonight. To be totally honest here. What time is it God. anyway? It's 4.06. Eh. <coughs> Oh shit, there you are. You guys suck at throwing those grenades. Gonna be honest. Oh, can't blame me too much. Everybody seems to. Ow. Never mind. Corrections, that hurt. Don't really want to. How much ammo do I have for this thing? Fair amount. Alright, uh, let's go back to the sidekick. Alright, oh, I really wanted to do the Princess Bride quote. I'll probably be playing this tomorrow. I don't know. Because here's the problem. Let's take a look at our map. Eh, we might be able to make it. If we start burning the midnight oil, the rain effect here is definitely hurting my frame rate a little bit. Problem is I'm so exploration happy, it's so easy for me to get distracted. Is this like a hotel or something? I don't even know. Well, let's see what's up here. Worst comes to worst, I turn around and leave. I totally killed a super mutant up here. Oh, there he is. I think I killed more than that one. Did I not? Really? Did he like fall down or... Oh, he might have dropped down, come to think of it. And this is... Nope, this isn't the extent of where I can go. Kind of super precarious. In real life, I would not be going here. I'd be like, no, no way, no way, Jose. Even if you got, even if you got pudding pops for, pops for me, I don't, I want no, I don't want no pudding pops. Not for a downright suicide. Let's see what else we got here. But in Fallout, mmm, you know it, pudding pops. All right, and we've just got this dead dude with a ton of ammo. Alright, that was worth it. My eyes are getting tired, but I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better. I, I kind of went into this game, and it felt awkward. I, I didn't feel like I was really in my element until now. Okay, so why don't we, why don't we cool it with the whole exploration or bust situation. Take the highway. Shoot him. Shoot him all. Kill everybody here. Oh, that's a legendary raider. The dog nearby? What 
Got at least one, maybe two. Damn it, dog, I need I needed you in that situation. I think I might have killed them all. Oh yeah, that was one very effective grenade. Um Short hunting rifle. Is this the legendary? Nope, that's the Raider Scavenger. Long Johns. Did they. Did I ragdoll the f hell out of them? I did. God damn it. I killed a. I killed a legendary Raider. And I have no idea where he is! One way or another, his body will not be found. conventionally. I do not see it here. Unless that's his body back there. I see a corpse. Oh, wait, no, that's a monkey. God damn it. I hate these things. They're so freaking creepy. Alright, what else we got around here? Some... Oh, dead settler. That's a shame. Then again, trying to live in this city seems like a bit of a death wish. Looks like we also have a super mutant nearby. Isn't it also like four in the morning for me? Yep. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have gone down. Oh, hey, is this the body? Nope, that's just a regular raider. What the fuck? Glowing mole rat. What's that? Oh god. Dog. Dog help. Dog lap. How many mole rats can you mole rat today? Apparently the answer is many. Let's finish looting these assholes and go this way. Maybe we can find this. Okay, did I notice the sun move a step instead of move contigu continuously? Maybe? I wasn't paying that much attention. Raider Scaver. Really would like to find that legendary raider for his legendary jibs. Doesn't look like I'm gonna find it here. Oh, jeez. That's a feral mongrel. This thing is tough. Tougher than that bear. Actually, no, I was using a different gun on the bear. Oh, hello. That's. Uh, Go for the head, go for the head. Accept, accept, accept. Oh, apparently I can't. Guess I need more AP before I can. This is one tough ass dog. Surprise, surprise. Alright. Oh, okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Literally oh. I really want to stop with the whole exploration thing and move on. Looks like we're here now. Alright, looks like these guys are a lot tougher. Let, let's upgrade our gun. For a little while. These guys are... This guy is surprisingly hardy. I'm not... I'm not keen on surprisingly hardy dudes. There we go. I've made it up to level 12. Good for me. Switch back to the old faithful, though. There's a body back on the stairs near the glowing mole rat. Good to know. Alright, let's go to this couple of things that we can go for. Which is the one that gives me the, um... Not gun parts. Scrapper. Here we go. Uncommon stuff. Like screws and aluminum. When s scrapping weapons and armor. Okay. That actually probably help out quite a lot. Ah, let's go back. Body near the glowing mole rat. I doubt... It would be the right one. It would be around here somewhere. Okay, these guys are big. These guys are pretty goddamn big. That's okay, we're doing some damage. 
Okay, there's one. The other one doesn't have nearly as much armor. So it's not as big of a deal. Alright. You guys are dumb as bricks. But I guess that's kind of the point. They're supposed to be ogres. How do you feel about the dialogue in this game so far? Eh, it's a little bit wooden. But what can you expect? Beth Bethesda has decent choice in voice actors, but the deliver delivery always comes off a little bit dry. That doesn't really offend me too much. Oh, hello. Oh, that's just a standard corpse. Yeah, there's no... There's no legendary raider that I... I guess atomized. Shame. A gun nut 2 might not be a bad idea after this one, but I wanted to get points in Scrapper. Just because. Alright, what do we got around here? Some dead dude. Dog, what the hell was that? He just went sprinting forward like a crazy creature. Oh, let's save. Ugh, my frame rate is looking like ass. This looks like ogre territory. Very much so. Uh... I want to back away real freaking fast. Creepy ass bulldog mutant things. Okay, how close are we, how close are we even to where we want to go? In fact, is there a highway that's going straight south here? Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. I don't think I can get up to that, though. Which kind of sucks. I'm glad I have a lot more, like, freedom of movement in this one. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe this will take me up. Nope, it'll just take me through. Eh, close enough. Because, yeah, I would like to avoid super mutant bases for at least a little while. So I can get to the castle. Seeing as. From the Mass Bay Medical Center. And... What looks to be some kind of crazed Mr. Gutsy. Goody. Really did not appreciate that the, the monster dog was a new enemy, did I? No? I, I mean, I appreciated it, but I was too busy trying to shoot it. I don't know. I might not be a high enough level for the castle. Most of these enemies have skulls next to their names, which mean they're a higher level than me. And I've been holding my own with, you know, just copious quantities of ammo, but I think at this point we're going to have to abandon dreams of going for the castle tonight. Oh, we were just here. Alright, good. This doesn't set me back too much. Yeah, because, um, if, trying to, if simply trying to get over there kills me. And it's probably not a good deal. Uh, let's see, so we went through there. Let's, let's, let's try that again. I'll quick save. I might be able to get it working. That was a feral ghoul. Hidden in the pit. Freaky. And a mannequin. Also, also freaky. Switch to actual rifles. I mean, this is this is true. That actually worked amazingly well. Is the Mr. Gutsy? Yep, he's still around. I was wondering. All right, there's there goes the Mr. Gutsy. Now this truck's on fire. Never mind, truck's not a problem anymore. That is an atomic hellscape. Minor, but still. All right, don't really feel like fighting super mutants. I don't even know where they would be. We got some lady down in here somewhere. Oh, enhanced targeting something or other. Cool. Yeah, we got super mutants around there. Let's sprint past this one. There's a lady back in here. Yes? 
No, really? That's where I heard a lady yelling at me. One point along the way. Alright, uh, you know what? It'd be real handy if I could get up there, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to take the highway. Let's just go back to walking. Ow. Fuck. Did not expect a gunner conscript with a shotgun. Guess I should have been paying more attention. So now we're in a mercenary district. This is new. Oh, hello. Let's blow that up. Lickety split. Yeah, this might be doable. Alright, where's the next one? Honestly, oh. Okay. Oh, there you are. That's working. Okay, these guys are significantly less threatening than I expected. A little bit of stabilization, stabilization goes a long way, and you, he was trying to blind fire. Didn't know they could do that. I can shoot his hand. Got him. All right. We've still got somebody up there. I have no idea how Dog even made it up. Oh, I see. Took the scaffolding. Scaffolding. Ugh. Okay, that was... This is definitely getting a lot laggier as we go along. Man, this is smooth when we started. And it's smooth when I'm not, like, running around, but sometimes. Yeah, so I might crank it down to medium the more we play this game. I'm sure there will be patches for stability, but for now... All right. I don't, I don't fucking care, man. Let's just keep going. We've already killed half of them. I'm sure this will be just as easy later. I think I stepped on a bear trap. Could be wrong. Wait there. No. Over here. Okay. I think... Nope, he's still waiting. Damn it. Hey. Dog. I told him to stay, but... Hey. Head over there. I guess not? I don't understand. So we've got an area over here. What's this? Consumer robot. Robotics. Oh, hey, it's a robot. Protect and serve. Can't do any. Can't do much with it. All right, that's fine. Let's see. Oh, so we're almost there. We're so freaking close. I can smell it. Glad the Protectron didn't decide to start having its way with me too. All right, how do we get across here? Oh, it's easy. All right, that's easy enough. Quick save to avoid backtracking. I've been quick saving fairly regularly. All right, that's the castle over there. The why did he say this is had a central location? This is a pain in the ass to get to. Let's see, who is that? Waiter, uh, Raider Waster, eh? Oh shit, that is a big dog! Oh, that's some dog armor. Dude, dog armor! Perfect! Been wondering about that one. Okay. So you got something big down there. <laughs> we got some more dogs too. Alright. More dogs. That's fine. We're okay. Really need to take out that machine gun emplacement all the way down there. Should probably also watch my health. You know what? Let's take this guy out first. These raiders aren't that big of a concern. But still. 
All right, let's back up a bit. Let's, uh, I got, I got some food in my inventory. I gotta have some food. Uh, not canned dog food. Fancy. Uh, guana on a, oh, guana on a stick. Dude, shit has no radiation. So I think I heard something a long time ago. I have already taken a lot of hits from these guys. Kind of sucks. This is one tough nut to hit. Guess we need to eat more iguanas on a stick. <coughs> Fucking die! Thank you! Okay. Oh, that's a Mark III turret. Alright. Oh god! here what the f what the hell no what what the Okay, um, let's not do that. Let's go back home. <laughs> no, don't think I'm ready for that one. <laughs> we'll come back later.